Hey, good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning. I'm just tagging some people. How does it get any better? I'm tagging everybody. <laughs> Here we go. I'm almost done. Almost done. Okay. Oops. Okay. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Linda. I'm just going to put you in my little stand because <laughs> my arm falls asleep when I hold my phone. Hey, good morning, Leanne. How are you? I know. Me too, Loretta. <laughs> good morning, Carol, again. Yeah. So for those of you, we just finished the Daily Dose killing with kindness and oh my gosh you guys we had this conversation we're talking about kindness with money right now it's epic totally epic so we get to do that and then we're going to come here and do money come and I'm putting my blanket on because it's kind of cold out we had some rain last night ha ah, magic anyway money come so with regards to, good morning Tanya to money coming I'm going to read you a little thing just one sentence that we talked about in the Killing with Kindness Daily Dose today. So being kind to yourself with money is allowing money to come to you, allowing money to come to you, that's key, with ease, joy, and glory, that's the second element, from areas you have never even considered possible. That is the third element. So we're going to include that in our, in our poll today. Allowing money to come to you, to come to you with ease, joy, and glory from areas you have never even considered possible. What would that be like? And it's being this energy now of like really being curious with it. Like, I wonder what are the areas that money could come, could show up? How can money show up in ways that I've never considered possible before? I wonder what would it be like to have more ease, joy, and glory with money? And what would it be like to allow, to allow money to come to me you not having to work for it, you not having to find it, you not having to figure it out, but allowing it to come to you, allowing it. What would that even be like? Now, you have no idea and you cannot figure it out with your brain. You can drive yourself crazy trying to figure it out, but stop it because what we're doing here energetically is we are going beyond your mind in so many ways, we are going into a space that you have never experienced before, right? In this lifetime, have you, um, you don't even know, so you can't figure it out. So the moment you notice that you're thinking, Megan, hi again, the moment you notice you're thinking, stop it. Your mind is a limitation to you. It only knows what you have experienced in this lifetime. So... If you can just relax your body, and I'm going to ask you to get really relaxed again, and you might feel like you want to fall asleep, and that's okay. What if that is what relaxation feels like, and how much are you resisting relaxation? What if you could surrender to the receiving that comes along with relaxing? So if you can, close your eyes, really relax your body. And expand out energetically to fill the room you're in. Beyond that. So you're expanding out a hundred miles above you up into the sky energetically taking up this much space, a hundred miles below you down into the earth, a hundred miles all the way around you. 
So you are energetically expanding into the infinite space of the infinite being that you truly be. And relax. And from this space of relaxation, ask to receive more from everything around you. Ask to receive from the house you're in. Ask to receive from the earth around you, the trees. Ask to receive from your pets, from your kids, from your spouse. Um, I know Megan works in an ER. What if she could ask to receive support from all of the things that are there? Whether they are sick or hurt people, what can they contribute to you? That's beyond what you could ever imagine. And in your receiving from them and from these things, you also gift. The greatest gift is being received by somebody or something. When you are out in nature in trees, doesn't that feel good? Like, don't you feel just so relaxed and so cared for? It is because that is the space of true receiving, of real gifting and receiving. You are being received by the trees and you are receiving them simultaneously. It's an easy space to be because trees don't have thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Trees and animals don't have decisions, judgments, and conclusions. They just are present and conscious. So it gets really tricky being around people because people have thoughts, feelings, and emotions. People have projections and expectations and decisions, judgments, and conclusions. And, um, and it's funny because I was having this conversation. <laughs> Megan, I gave a two-hour enema on Friday and I still smelled like poop last night. I never got it on me. What energy was I receiving? I wonder. I wonder, Megan. Um, see, with, it's so funny because I, I'm a horse trainer and I love working with animals and with, with Reba. Oh my God, you guys, I have to show you Reba right now. There she is. She's just totally, she's relaxing and receiving. <laughs> she does the energetic exercise with us. That is so funny. She's so, she makes me laugh. Anyway, um, I work with Crystal Crawford in her business and I was having this thing come up with some people and I'm like, when I'm with my horses, I always know what to do and what to choose and what to be to change something. But I'm, when I'm with people, it's not as clear. And so I'm like, what is that? And so, Hey Kyla. And so she asked me a question. She's like, well, with the people, so she's like, do horses have thoughts, feelings, and emotions? And I'm like, no, they don't. And she's like, do people have thoughts, feelings, and emotions? Yes, they do, actually. And do horses project and expect? Do they have decisions, judgments, and conclusions? And I'm like, no. And she's like, do people have decisions, judgments, conclusions, projections, and expectations? And I'm like, yes. And so she's like, okay. And the next question was, are you aware? And I'm like... Yes, <laughs> I'm so aware. So when I'm with horses, it's so much more clear to me because there's not those thoughts, feelings, and emotions, decisions, judgments, conclusions, computations, projections, and expectations muddling up the energy. So what I started doing was I started pretending people were horses in a sense of that would put me in the space of um, beyond the thoughts, feelings, and emotions so I'm like, if this was a horse, what would I do? If this person was a horse, what would I do or what would I be here? And I would just ask that question. And oftentimes, there wasn't actually much required. It was really just being this space expanded and barriers down and receiving. So when you are being with people and you are being expanded, as we are practicing here every day, you just start to change the energy of them. And they literally, their thoughts, feelings, and emotions start to go away. Good morning, Jackie Albert. And it's really magic. So do you have a space? Do you have a reference point for being 
receiving and gifting, whether for me it's with horses or out in nature, or maybe it's like, I know Loretta does rock, rock sculpting. So rocks don't have thoughts, feelings, and emotions either. So I'm assuming she probably has more clarity and ease being with rocks. So what if you pretended people were rocks? <laughs> anyway, just some crazy conversation. And um, yeah, okay. That was like a totally side, side road <laughs> conversation. And I know that when I start to speak about things, it really contributes to somebody or to everybody on, this, on the live. So let's go back to our energetic exercise here. What we are doing today, guys, is we're tapping into being kind to yourself with money. The space of being kind to yourself with money is allowing money to come to you with ease, joy, and glory from areas you have never considered possible. And we were talking about receiving, and that's what led me. So relax, receive, and expand out. And as we do this today, I'm just going to flip the camera around, and we are going to ask to receive. I've got Reba here. And I have my horsey jewel in the background. She's actually Travis's horse. So we're going to ask them to contribute. So just tap into, we're going to tap into Reba right now. What can you receive from Reba? And in your receiving, what will you contribute to her? Okay. Money doesn't mean anything to her, but she lives a life that's full of wealth and richness and everything she desires. What would that be like for you? So we are expanding out. And let's tap into and pull energy from through as and across all time, spaces, dimensions, realities, and futures through all of the money molecules into the front of your body money come money come money come money come play with me money come money come money come money come create with me money come money come money come money show me all of the ways you can show up that are beyond what i could ever imagine possible money come money come money come money come dance with me money come money come money come Money come and spread the joy with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come. Money show me. Ease, joy, and glory. Money come. Relax your body. Expand out. Pull energy from through as and across all time, space, dimensions, realities, and futures through all of the money molecules into the back of your body through your body out the front money come money come money come money come play with me money come money come money come money come create with me money come money come money come money come dance with me money come money come money come money show me where you be money come money come money come money come and spread the joy with me money come money come money come money come money come create with me Relaxing, expanding, ask to receive even more, pulling in energy from through as and across all time, space, dimensions, realities, and futures. Good morning, Krista, through all of the money molecules, into the top of your body, through your body, out the bottom of your feet. And there's Jewel. Let's tap into Jewel and ask her to contribute and what can you receive from her and what does she know about being and receiving with ease, joy, and glory. Money come, money come, money come, money come play with me, money come, money come, money come, money come create with me, money come, money come, money come, money show me where you be, money come, money come, money come. Money come dance with me. 
relaxing your body, taking a deep breath, asking to receive even more, pulling energy from through as and across all time, space, dimensions, realities, and universes, through all of the money molecules, into the bottom of your body, into your feet, through your body at the top of your head. Money come, money come, money come. Money come play with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money show me where you be. Money come, money come, money come. Money come create with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come dance with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come play with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come, money come, money come. Thank you, Krista. It really is. Okay, and now we're going to ask, we're going to change our view, and we're going to tap into the trees. Okay, taking another deep breath in, relaxing your body and receiving. Money come, money come, money come. Pulling energy from through as and across all time, space, dimensions, realities, and futures through all of the money molecules into the right side of your body, through your body at the left. Money come, money come, money come, money come play with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come show me where you be. Money come, money come, money come. Money come dance with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come spread the joy with me. Money come, 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 money come. Relaxing, expanding, receiving, pulling energy from through as and across all time, space, dimensions, realities, and futures into the left side of your body, through your body at the right. Money come, money come, money come, money come play with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money show me where you be. Money come, money come, money come. Money come dance with me, money come, money come, money come, money come play with me, money come, money come, money come, money come spread the joy with me, money come, money come, money come. <coughs> Relaxing your body even more, taking a deep breath, expanding out, receiving. Now we have all of the energy flows into the money coming in, energetically coming into the front of your body, through your body at the back, into the back of your body, through your body at the front, from the top, through your body down, from into your feet, through your body at the top, into the right, out the left, into the left, at the right. If you followed all of that, you're amazing. Relax. <laughs> Stop thinking. Now let's ask the elementals of consciousness and the quantum entanglements of the universe to contribute to us relaxing and receiving even more, to contribute to money showing up with ease, joy, and glory, to show us what it would be like to allow money to come into our lives. What would it be like to be kind to you with money by allowing it to show up in ways that you can never imagine possible? Money come, money come, money come. Money come play with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money show me where you be. Money come, money come, money come. Money come create with me. Money come, money come, money come. Money come play with me. Money come dance with me. Money come spread the joy with me. Money come create possibilities with me. Money come support me. Money come adventure with me. Money come, 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 money come. All right. And if anybody wants to come play on my magical farm, we've got the bars class with horses starting on Saturday, which will take place in the riding arena with Jewel will be one of the horses contributing to the class in the morning or the afternoon. The other three, you can't see them. I usually bring two horses in at a time into the arena. And then the foundation class is going to be right here in a tent with this view starting on Sunday. So I'm ready for any last minute choosers. If you're not sure yet, you'd really like to, but things aren't quite lining up for you. That's cool. What magic is possible? That's beyond what you could ever imagine. 
And so if you have any questions, let me know. And if on Friday night you're like, Catherine, I'm coming to the bars class on Saturday, I will be like, awesome. <laughs> I'm ready for you. All right, you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. Ah, Loretta's going to register right now. Yes, I knew you were coming anyway, Loretta. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We're going to be on at 8.30 for the rest of the series. All righty. Bye-bye for now.